This problem came in Jai 2011. A long insulated copper wire is closely wound as a spiral of n turns. The spiral has inner radius A and outer radius B. The spiral lies in the xy plane and a steady current I flows through the wire. The z component of the magnetic field at the center of the spiral is options are given. We start by considering a small arc of so to say radius r at some angle theta as shown here. This is small arc, this is angle theta, this small angle is d theta, this radius is r. Strictly speaking this type of arc is not going to be circular but since this is a small angle we can treat this to be circular and that would allow us to use the formula for magnetic field at the center of a circular arc which is magnetic field equal to mu naught by 4 pi 2 pi i upon radius multiplied by angle of the arc divided by 2 pi. Here the angle of the arc is d theta. So the little field db at the center would be mu naught by 4 pi 2 pi i upon r d theta by 2 pi. Now when we have one turn then the angle covered is 2 pi. So when there are n turns then the angle covered would be twice n pi. r changes from small a to small b. That means change in r is b minus a. So when r changes by b minus a, theta changes by 2n pi. Using the unitary method, we get this as the relationship between dr and d theta which was required for us to be able to integrate this. In place of d theta by 2 pi, we put this. So db equal to mu naught by 4 pi 2 pi i by r in place of this putting this and therefore b would be the integral of this limits on r would be from a to b this whole thing here constants can be taken outside the integral mu naught 4 pi etc. So we have integral a to b dr by r and that gives us this as the answer and that is option A.